Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Nicholas Lub and Edmond C. player. This is a game from Isle of Men, chess tournament played in 2017. Nicholas Lub had white pieces and he started with d4. Edmond C. player played knight to f6. White to move. Knight to c3 was played. c4 is by far the most played move. Knight to c3, d5, bishop to f4, c6, white to move. e3 is the most played move in this position. Nicholas Liu played f3, intending e4. g6, queen to d2, bishop to g7, and Nicholas Liu castle at queen's side. b5, Bishop to h6, bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, b4, attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? Knight to b1 was played. If knight was to a4, then a queen to a5, and after b3, c5. So we have knight to b1, queen to a5, attacking the pawn on a2, e4. D takes on e4, and now bishop to c4, black to move, bishop to e6 was played. Perhaps bishop to a6 should have been considered. Pawn takes pawn on f3 is not recommended because it is only helping white to bring more pieces in the game. Bishop to e6 was played, bishop takes on e6 f takes on e6, f takes on e4. This is a very interesting moment of the game. Play with black pieces has lots of choices. Some are knight takes on e4, queen takes on a2, and a developing move like knight from b to d7. And this is the move played in the game. e5, knight to d5, Queen to h3, attacking the pawn on e6. Queen takes on a2. Queen takes on e6. Black to move. And again, play with black pieces has lots of choices. Like knight from 7 to b6. Queen to a6, defending the pawn on c6. Or even castling queenside. This is a pretty good move, even if white takes on c6, then king to b8, and black has a good position, believe it or not. In the game, player with black pieces played knight to c3. This looks like a super cool move, but has an easy solution. What is the solution? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? If pawn takes knight on c3, then queen takes queen on e6. Nicholas Liu played. Queen takes queen. Knight takes on a2 check. King to d2. And we have reached one very interesting endgame. White has two pawns in the center against one black pawn. How important is that? Black to move, knight to b6 b3, preventing knight to c4 check, black to move. Again, black has more than one choice, like castling king's side, castling queen's side. What is better, castling king's side or castling queen's side? Edmund, c player, castled queen's side. Perhaps castling king's side would be better. But you can't blame him, because after castling queen's side, his rook is hitting the pawn on d4. Knight to e2, c5, king to e3, rook to d5, intending rook from h to d8. King to e4, white has the more active king. How important is that in the endgame? Rook from h to d8, rook to d2, rook from 5 to d7. White to move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Nicholas Liu played 
c4. Knight to c3 check. Al Passan does not work because of rook takes knight. So we have knight to c3 check. Knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, and now rook to d3. c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, a5. White to move. c5 attacking the knight. Knight to d5 defending the pawn on c3. White to move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Past pawns should be pushed. c6. Rook to c7. White played the move and black resigned. The move is knight to e6, fork in two rooks. Black resigned. The one line goes like this. Rook takes on c6. Knight takes rook on d8. King takes on d8. Rook takes on d5. Check. King to e8 and perhaps rook to c1. And I guess we can stop here. At some stages of the game, Plavid black pieces had lots of choices. And sometimes when it happens, it may cost you time. Did something like that ever happen to you? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.